The other day I was bird watching in Wildwood Park and we don't think of winter as a good time for bird watching but it can be great because when the trees are bare and there are no leaves it's actually a time when we can see that which percolates in between the branches even better than we might have during a time of robust leaves and fullness. And that's something interesting to note in a time when we're celebrating trees on Tu Bishvat. Why would we celebrate the trees in a time when they seem to be dead and bare and only later in spring they come to flower? Well, in the US, this experience is even more emphasized than in Israel where some trees might be able to stay green through the mild winters and certainly the Shkedia, the almond tree, famously blooms around this time. But what do we in the United States whose trees are all bare at this time take from celebrating Tu Bishvat, the new year of the trees, at such a time as this? And I think it's that story about bird watching in the winter. What is it that we can notice during a time of scarcity, during a time of quietness, during a time that is subdued? What is it that we can notice? Those quiet little things, those fleeting things, those hard to notice small things that we wouldn't notice during a time that's more joyful, robust, and full. When things are quieter, when things are more subdued, as they are in winter, we have a chance to notice the subtle beauties that live within the trees, in their bark, the beautiful details of bark, in the life that percolates through their branches, even in the quietest of seasons, as it does for the birds. So happy to be Shvat. I hope that this time allows you to notice during the quietness, during the more subdued season, that which might have otherwise been hidden and yet is so beautiful.